talk about the children of the community, they are a children of the community. What is your said that if that Hunter Biden laptop story has any arguments against that? And I want to see how it goes. All right, so this guy is this Benny Johnson? Is who is this? Is this Benny Johnson? Let me see. Let me see. Hold on one second. Who is this gentleman? He said he asked black guys about Kamala Harris. And what happened next was insane. So we're about to look at this right here because apparently this gentleman is about to uh, I'm, uh, start some sugar honey iced tea on the streets. And, um, and we're going to be a part of it. We are aiding and abetting this video. How come it looks like this right here? Oh, that's how it look. Okay. All right. Let's get to it. Y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comment. Let's have a productive and objective conversation and try to listen to one another so we can understand, not listen, so we can respond. That's I have no problem with Trump, for real. Have you colored your hair the same color as Donald Trump's hair? <laughs> that's a crazy no. question. And that's okay if you go to the same barber. That's fine. You can admit that. <laughs> Joe Biden's administration, like one to ten, how do you think it's gone? It's honestly a ticking time bomb to me. You think he's like a little up there? A little up there, down there, around the way, there, different dimension, there. different world. I don't know. He's just... He said he's a little up there, down there, around the way. He's, this dude is lost. <laughs> He's lost. <laughs> you would think that he got on them real dark shades and he got a little stick in his hand, tapping, trying to figure out. That's how lost he seemed when he walking around. That's how lost he seemed, bro. That's just, just, just me. He's a unique figure. How old are you, honey? You're 11 years old. Talk to me before we leave, okay? Come. Why? 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 If I'm there, and that's my baby, um, Mr. President. <laughs> Congratulations on winning, yeah. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. What you need to talk to my, uh, my kid about? Huh? Nah, seriously, you said you need to talk to my kid. What you need to talk to him about? No, 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 Secret Service, I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna start nothing. <laughs> I just wanna know what the hell he meant. <laughs> I'm cool, <laughs> I'm cool. Until you let me know what you wanted to talk to my kid about. They said he was 11. Huh? <laughs> Secret Service, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, baby. I'm cool as a fan. I'm put my hands down. You want to talk to somebody's baby for later. Kamala man. Harris, she's Vice President of the United States. What's your favorite accomplishment? Uh, her doing a good job. W what does that mean? I don't know, because I don't know who she is. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do not come. Wow. Do not come. Oh, he, he came. <laughs> I'm going to come. <laughs> what the balls? <laughs> Pause, bruh. What in the world y'all got me watching? <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Benny. We're in downtown Tampa, Florida today, speaking with members of the oldest black fraternity in America, Kappa Alpha Psi. This is also the largest black fraternity in America. They are loud, they are proud. You would assume these fine gentlemen would have something nice to say about Kamala Harris. Let's go find out. Any favorite Kamala Harris quotes? Nope, y'all know any? Hell no, they don't know any uh, Kamala Harris quotes. Do she have any quotes? Come on, man. She Kamala Harris quotes? Nah. She got when we talk about the children of the community, they are a children of the community. What is your favorite Kamala Harris? <laughs> Almost choked on a peanut. She dug deep for that one. When we talk, <laughs> when we talk about children, <laughs> what? Kamala Harris quote. I don't have one. You need to get to go. I need to be able to get where you need to go to do the work <laughs> and get home. Oh my God. Bro, they said she's a, she was a, an attorney, right? She was a district attorney. This lady, she, she's intelligent, right? How did she become a lawyer? <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. Do you have a favorite Kamala Harris accomplishment? Kamala Harris accomplishment. You know what? If I would have known of one, then I would have thought of one. I just... What the hell? I think he Kamala Harris, the reporter. He Kamala Harris Benny. I love the idea of exploring the unknown. 
What is your favorite Kamala Harris accomplishment? Favorite? I'm not sure. <laughs> Or, well, hey, look, whatever he said don't matter. He got on the half shirt, bro. He's showing his dag on belly button to the world. He, whenever you see somebody walking around, if you see a man and he's not full chested, he's not showing the whole thing, or he don't have a wife beater where you just see the top. You know what I mean? Or if if he's just if he's just showing nipples and no belly button, red flag. If he's just showing belly button and no nipples, red flag. He got to have the entire shirt off. Like a man, I'm not asking you nothing with a half shirt on, a half sweater at that. This dude got on a half towel with holes in it. That's okay. Uh, she wasn't, uh... Was joking, no, bro. What's your favorite Kamala Harris accomplishment? <laughs> favorite? No. Come on, she's vice president. No, I can't. Sir. Sir, please. <laughs> the children need to know. Sir. What is your favorite Kamala Harris accomplishment? Kamala Harris. She, where she is now. Talking about, <laughs> about the significance of the passage of time, right? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time. Kamala Harris, she's vice president of the United States. What's your favorite accomplishment? Uh, her doing a good job. What does that mean? I don't know, because I don't know who she is. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think she's actually said that, so you'd be right. Being her. Being, a, being her? Mm-hmm. Just being Kamala Harris? Yep. All right. That's positive. <laughs> who does? Just by be, be, look, being her. Look, you, she shine like a star. Yeah, you know what I mean? She is, she is, she is, she out there blessing people with the, with the gifts that God blessed her with. Uh, she's, she's been one in a million, just her. You know, what I mean? well, just just her. She's she's Kamala. Doesn't love a yellow school bus. They will remain yellow, but their heart will be green. <laughs> what the what? hell is she talking about? Look, everyone, Hunter Hunter Biden's here on the Burisma yacht. <laughs> Who knew he was invited? He's a guest speaker. Hey, fellas, look what I found in my pocket. Look, a year's salary right here. What I call them, fun coupons. Is it your yacht? You can tell us. No, it's not my yacht. <laughs> my, my yacht we will be on that boat right now. <laughs> what is your favorite Kamala Harris accomplishment? Carmilla Hair, Car oh, her accomplishment? She's, uh, she's done a good job. Then we're going to say, we're not having that. We're not playing that. No, sir. Answer of the question of the day. Question of the day, what's your favorite Kamala Harris accomplishment? Kamala Harris? Kamala Harris. To being born. Ben born. Come on, OG. Come on, OG. Y'all, y'all, nope, nope, nope. We can't do that. We cannot do that. You, y'all put her in office simply because she was black and did not check back. You didn't look back at, you ain't look back at the, the look, I'm not watching no more. Look, look. y'all walked up to the thing and just scribbled in for Kamala and, and Joe. Scribbled it in. Where does it say blue? I'm voting for blue. I'm voting for blue and didn't go back and check at all. <laughs> being born, okay. <laughs> being born, being right. born. That's you know, the interesting born. thing is that under Kamala Harris's plans, a lot less babies would be born. So actually, that guy, that guy knew what he was talking about. Um, just being vice president. As the vice president of the United States to say, Dub Nation is in the house. <laughs> Some people are like, well, Joe Biden's a little old. Maybe it's going to be Kamala. What do you think? She's in there. You know, we'll see what's happening next, you know. They don't give a damn. He's like, man, look, this is, look, she, she get in there, man. She, she, the, she the black one, right? Yeah. She, when she get in there, you know what I mean? We'll see what happens. You know, I might vote for her if they put her at the front of the ticket. Yeah. Yeah. She ain't, she ain't do nothing yet, but you know, <laughs> I wouldn't know anyway. I ain't been paying attention. I just know she black. She is black, right? Yeah. That's the one I'm voting for. I'm going to vote for the black one. As long as you're going. Yeah, she is black. Okay. Yeah, that's the one I'm voting for. The world is a topsy turvy. A lot of things have changed throughout the um, years, as we all understand. And you just got to embrace it. Or if not, you move to Cuba. <laughs> Royce is Cuban. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Says, no, don't send me back. Once the tour is done, then she can come and do what she needs to do. 
Donald Trump was like younger person. It's always old presidents in office, so I feel like, but we just I, need to make that trend to work. Honestly, the whole Trump thing, bro, I feel like Trump has done, when Trump was in office, he did way more than Biden has since this, this his tenure. You know what I mean? That's I have no problem with Trump, for real. Now this is this is something personal, and you, you can say, no, I don't want to answer that. But is, is did, have you colored your hair the same color as Donald Trump's hair? <laughs> that's a crazy no. question. And that's okay if you go to the same barber, that's fine. You can admit that. <laughs> I, I think that's an honor. Barber, you can Good interviewer. That. Yeah, yeah this is funny. This you can funny. say it's personal. I don't want to tell you that. I don't want to tell you my barber. It's personal. Yeah, okay. <laughs> personal. What else do we know about this population, 18 through 24? They are stupid. She certainly is uh, asked more. They just want to know one. Qualified. You know what? I take that back. I take that back. Guys, I'm, I'm part. Listen, let me tell you something. I think she's as goofy as they come. I think she's as goofy as they come. I don't know what she's done that was positive. I, I have not a damn clue. Not a god daggone clue. She's just as dilly as ever. Every time I see her, she's just ridiculous. She don't inspire. She don't motivate. But I don't think Americans are, are, are that dumb to vote. Oh, yes, they are. I'm sorry. Never mind. Because they play us, and we just do whatever the hell they tell us to do. And we deal with whatever um, um, choices that they give us. We really don't stress the issue. Somehow, some way, Kamala became the vice president. But I have too much respect for 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 people who are, you know, um, college graduates, um, people with high degrees, like a law degree and stuff like that. So it's very difficult for me to say she's stupid. It's very difficult for me to say she's dumb. It's not very difficult to make make fun of her because she's goofy. Um, she she might be socially awkward, but again, I'm not the person that's all inside of the weeds and looking at all the laws that were passed and saying, "Oh, Kamala wrote that. Oh, mm, Kamala presented that. Ooh, so Kamala actually worked on this. Ooh, I don't know that. Just like the people that voted for." Her than someone who we most recently had who was in the seat of president. I think your mustache is one of the most qualifying things I've ever seen. It's a fantastic mustache. Thank you. So I like the whispers. Y'all know the whispers? I think the team is good where it is. Some people are like, oh, maybe Biden step aside. Maybe it's time for Kamala. Oh, uh, no. You can charge your phone on your way home from work. That's good stuff. What about Kamala Harris versus Trump? If we're gonna go with what she's done with Biden, she would have to do a little bit more. Biden hasn't followed through on all his steps that he's promised us. Like, so we're just uh, waiting on like the debt relief and all that. So that's what it says him aside from Trump. Yeah. Trump took action. You know that's what I mean? Right. Student debt relief, yeah. right? And yeah. student loan yeah. relief. Yep. Yeah. We're students, so we need that. And Biden's like, I'm gonna do that, and it hadn't been done. Right? Yeah. yeah. It hasn't yeah. happened. True and international suffered the pressure. It's just all talk. I need action. You yes. Know what I mean? Yes. I went home one day and I said, Well, what's why are conservatives bad, mommy? Because I thought we were supposed to conserve things. <laughs> <laughs> she's goofy. I think she's addicted to edibles. That would be the only thing. I think she's addicted to edibles. Joe Biden's administration, like one to 10. How do you think it's gone? One to 10 on him? Yeah. It's honestly a ticking time bomb to me, but shoot. I'm not political, I just see how it is. <laughs> what do you mean by that? You think he's like a little up there? A little up there, down there, around the way, different dimension, different world, I don't know. He's just, he's a unique figure. Come on, man. Come Give on, me man. a little break here. Rating, uh, out of 10, one to 10, what do you, how do you think the uh, administration is doing? Just my opinion, about a seven, seven and a half, something like that. I'll say a seven. Yeah. yeah, compared yeah, to the like face lit coming into the office, yeah. I'd say about a seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Welcome back to America. Some people told us we might have to go to Cuba if Kamala Harris becomes president. <laughs> Move to Cuba. <laughs> Too good. Well, we didn't get a lot of quotations, nor did we get a lot of accomplishments. Other than a lot of those people probably the ones that was supposed to move to Canada if Trump won. They said, I'm going to move to Canada. I'm out. I'm gone. <laughs> hey, man, you did a damn good job, Benny. Thank you so much, man. That was dope. That was dope, which I thought. Y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comments below. If you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside of the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual. Love y'all. Peace.